What's up everyone? Early starts the morning, but uh, today is gonna be a good day. So, I am heading into town this morning, into Cape Town to go and get some waves. Uh, it's been pretty good back that side, so I decided that I'd rather just kind of keep going in there and getting some waves in there. But this morning, I'm just going to make some breakfast, kind of get ready here, and then pack the car and head through it's about an hour and a half drive to get into town so i should be there by like 8 39 o'clock and that'll be perfect on the tide so make some coffee this morning get some food and then we're gonna head through So basically this is how my morning goes every morning. Um, this is glutamine powder and I have a, a green powder that's uh, wheat barley and some other cool stuff and I just have that in the morning. It's basically just a glass of water, full glass of water, then a glass of the green and uh, the glutamine. And that kind of gets my day started uh, that's really for gut health and to make sure that everything's working properly so I'm gonna drink that first have another big glass of water uh, just to start getting hydrated for the day and then I'm gonna make some coffee and then from there I've got some fruit that I'm gonna eat and then just kind of slowly get into the day but uh, I'm just gonna put this into a, a time lapse for you guys and show you exactly what's going on here so I'm just gonna take these tablets um, it's omega 3s calcium magnesium and vitamin C they're just like my daily tablets that I take um, just as like a daily essentials uh, that's good for the oils are really good for just kind of getting your body in tune um, especially as well as gut health and I'm really focused on that at the moment I've been a little bit sick calcium magnesium tablets the calcium magnesium tablets really help for uh, cramping and stopping cramping and then obviously vitamin C to stay kind of healthy or as healthy as possible. So as I said before, I'm going to head into town now, uh, just finished eating breakfast and getting everything ready and I'm going to shoot through and hopefully get some sick waves. It looks really good on the charts but 
Uh, it also looks pretty windy and when the wind's really strong down there it's kind of sometimes doesn't work out so I'm gonna head there and I'm gonna check it out and first see um, I'm meeting up with Michael Felton this morning which should be pretty sick haven't seen him in a while haven't shot with him in a long time so hopefully we can link up on a few and I'll just keep you guys informed on what's happening So where I'm heading into town is pretty damn cold. Um, I surfed there a couple times this week and the water's been freezing. So it seems that when the easterly winds blow, this place gets exceptionally cold. So I am taking my 4.3 and then I'm actually taking a hood with me. Because I prefer to wear a hood when it gets really cold. And obviously fins and leashes and everything. Let's get going. finished a super fun sesh out at dunes and I'm on my way home now I'm just gonna pick up some food on the way home show you guys exactly what I eat after a long session like that I think I was in the water for about three hours and then I'm gonna get home and relax for a bit and then I've got a yoga session a little bit later with Johan Gudde who owns and runs Ocean Studio down in the Strand so I'm gonna go and see him a little bit later. We're gonna do a class. Um, it's a yin yoga class, which is long hold. Um, it's yoga with the poses I hold for about anywhere from 30 seconds up until three to five minutes. So they're quite long holds, but um, I'm really keen to do this because I haven't done yoga in a long time and I haven't really stretched in a while so after this week a lot of waves surfed a lot of time in the water um, just to get that stretching done and kind of get stretched out and just relax a bit focus on myself focus on my own body um, yeah I'm just really looking forward to it so I will talk to you guys when I get back home so I've just got back to the house now it was quite a lot of driving um, it's an hour and a half in with traffic. 
and then I'm back an hour back so it's quite a lot of driving I'm finally back at the house now 3 30 and I just wanted to show you guys what I got for lunch so that's what I'm having for lunch now the reason why I've got a chocolate bar and a brownie here is because I wanted to get something that's going to give me quite a lot of calories quite quickly um, as well as spiking my blood sugar because I've been surfing for so long I lost quite a lot of energy and these two the chocolate bar and the brownie are going to kind of spark that level back up as well as having this wrap it's just a chicken wrap but um, that's kind of going to get the nutritional value back in um, I do this because in the three hours that I was surfing on my watch it came through saying that I'd burnt 1800 calories now what I wanted to try to do is put that back into my system and the easiest way to do that is to eat foods which are kind of high in sugar as well as not being so good for you but they've got a lot of calories in them so I try to eat those foods to bring the calories back up to try make it so that it's zero so I'm not losing weight I'm kind of staying at the same weight and uh, keeping the calories super high. Obviously, I'm going to have another meal tonight. It's going to be dinner. Um, but before then, I'm going to go to yoga, as I've said before, and just do a little bit of yoga, have some time to myself, focus on my body, and then I'll be coming back and making dinner and showing you guys exactly what I eat for dinner, especially on a day when there's quite a lot of uh, exercise going down, quite a lot of calories being burned. So just thought it would be pretty cool to show you guys exactly what I'm eating and um, yeah I'll check back in with you all a little bit later So I just got back from yoga and it was a really sick class. Um, it was an hour long class but it kind of did more in the way of stretching for long periods of time. We sat in some poses for like up to three minutes and it really starts to get your legs working. They start to burn, they start to shake but all in all it was a really sick class. Um, I'm super lucky to be going to Johan, who is, um, he's just started out as a yoga teacher, but he's absolutely incredible, really passionate, and I really have a good time in the class. He is a bodyboarder, so that's kind of one thing that I like to do. I like to support the bodyboarders, so um, if you guys are in the Strand area and you're looking to go to some yoga classes, then go see Chucky at Ocean Studio. Um, I will link it all below but after a long week of surfing it's really good to go and do stuff like stretch out and do yoga and if you can go get massages that's also a really helpful way to help the muscles to kind of regenerate and get back to how they should be so I'm gonna head inside now go show you guys the dinner that we're gonna have and then um, probably just sign out from there So tonight we are going to have burgers and veggies and the burgers are actually ostrich burgers going, and I put some eggs on top and cheese and there's avo underneath that so it's pretty much all the fats and really good proteins in there as well as the vegetables which are sweet potato, carrots and butternut and that's pretty much going to be it. So. It's quite a big meal but when you do a lot of exercise and you're doing a lot of work in the water as well as out of the water you need to kind of feel your body and feel your muscles so that's why the meal is so big but um, let me know if you guys want to see more of these vlogs I'm really stoked to get some waves out there today it was a really long day but a lot of driving as well but on the plus side there was really sick waves so thanks for watching the vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed it there were some really sick waves out there so hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you guys next week